when uh, I was casting with all of then Ponlo. Ponlo, Ponlo. I always confuse. I'm, I'm just really stupid with names. But when I was casting with Ponlo for the Dreamlands and the Fourth Walls, um, we did cast Boboka's team IG quite a few times. And this guy's kind of a little bit of a memer, I've learned. I really like watching him play. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's good to see him on a very standard support, very cookie cutter hero, this lion, compared to the support Medusa that he was picking back then. Behold, Behold Magnus. <laughs> that troll is already starting. A bit here. Yeah. But, uh, I mean. Oh, by the way, it's a mid Mars. I am a robot. Mid Marcy. Yeah, okay, who is the mid? Uh, Yumo. Yumo. Oh. So, position 5, Tuscar, and Nyx, and Yuma. Off lane. That's very unusual, but we'll see how it works out. I know China really likes Marcy. Because when I'm playing games with the, the Chinese players, I often run into Marcy as a core. Off lane or carry. Why are you playing games with Chinese players? I mean, they are in the SEA server, you know, so they oh, like to pick yeah. Marcy carry, they like to pick Marcy off lane, Marcy support. They just like this hero. Sure. I was just making that clear for the audience who might not know. And they've scouted a Nyx Assassin. He's going to take the wrong path out, grounded by five. That'll be first blood easily yeah. as Baboka yoinks it. Oh my god, Emo says I'm truly Emo right now. Why did you take my kill? Do you understand? That no one touches the mid laners first blood. No the one. Emperor. Emperor. Isn't that what you call him, Emo? The Dragon Emperor? <laughs> well, now he's playing the uh, Invoker, Quas Wex. Anyway, so, here did not get his first blood. Quas Wex. Uh, with Into the Ray Bands. It seems pretty good. I mean, Invoker but... doesn't lose to anybody nowadays in lane. You're just that strong of a laner. With sure. the life steal from the Aquas Orbs, I mean, you see, you you see this hero just right click the the creeps all the time just to get life steal. So it's very hard to totally push him out of the lane, and he eventually he just out sustains you. Even though you have a bottle, you're picking up uh, the runes and refilling it. But yeah, it's tough, you know. Invoker is just a very stable lane. Uh, doesn't really but have a bad matchup. The good first start for Emo. He uh, immediately went in with the rebound, and then Emo missed twice uphill and didn't get any proc from the gold snap. So that's a, uh, you know, that was a little bit lucky. But it, as you say, it's gonna even out, especially when EMP tornado comes out. This is going to be a uh, trouble. Uh, I would have to assume. I fly down bottom. Oh, okay. They throw the blood grenade. Undying is gonna just eat up these idolons. It's uh, a bit of a shame here to lose those immediately after they're coming from Irwin. Yeah, always a very, very big deal. Oh, Irwin. Fly fly yeah. with yeah, the mischief he's in deep. gets close. He's in deep. And it's it's uh, Mind Flare level 1, by the way, so unavailable. Just have to just walk him down. Yeah, that's... Uh, hmm. I don't know if I like it so much for this lane. I think in some lanes you can kind of play greedy for yourself, but with Enigma... Uh, I don't know if I would do that because I think the hero needs someone to bodyguard him at the level early one. levels, right? Yeah, yeah, until he gets level two, like right now, then you, I mean, you can do whatever the, whatever you want, you know. Because this hero is meant to be greedy. Next position for you are meant to play for your own game and just get your no talismans, then build into your day gun, get your levels, and you go for solo kills. Right, right. You you basically are kind of a jungler almost. It feels like you right? are a, you are a jungler. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, just, you know, you it's try to not pretend a... I didn't level one jungle, you know, that's it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, the classic stem support, right? I don't think it's that bad of uh, an idea to play Dota now. Uh, if your player is really, really good at playing heroes like this, sure. I think it's always uh, it's a legit strat. I'm surprised we don't see more of it, like on the pod. I don't know about Veno necessarily. I know that making back when he was on Tundra would, would do a couple of heroes in this style. Down bottom, Irving. Yeah, they kept him in the cog. And even if the idol on split, it feels like it's not going to matter. Like, he's got a fly fly with one down the strike, cleans up a lot of those idol on. That is already a really good start here for bot lane, in the bot lane, I should say, uh, for Yaku Brothers. Let's check up on top lane, right? This is uh, kind of a newer hero. Zeal said, if you hold Magnus. Um, it's a gyro tusk lane versus uh, this this uh, 
uh, Mag Lion. Uh, how are things playing out here so far? 12 and 4 uh, to the 14 and 4. So pretty even as far as the cores go. Yeah, pretty even. I think at some point you're going to see uh, people trying to kill each other. I think at, at least level 3, level 4. I mean, both sides have a lot of uh, magic damage, physical damage, and some random skill. You know, you could see some under the tower. Tusk doesn't open. really land the shot block. No, nope, and he's gonna Somebody's get almost under skewered the... under tower. Okay, no. Fine on range. Just fine now there. No. I think he didn't go for the max range skewer. Pretty sure he could have gotten it a little bit nearer. I gotta say, Winter, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised at how well the Marth has been able to hold up so far. I mean, he is kind of just getting walked yeah, out of but lane. Eventually, you're gonna run out of resources against Invoker. Invoker will just out sustain you. Know? That's how most of the matchups go, you know. Initially, you're yeah, keeping up. Ooh, this is looking like uh, another kill on the Irving. It is. My fly just running down the Eidolon. Stun connects onto the pocket. Yeah, It'll this, be a one for one trade. This lane but... is terrible for 18 pick Enigma, which you already see your lane and you already see the picks, you know, the first four picks. It is not going well. Nope. Not so far. We'll see if they can turn that around, but it's uh, certainly a troubling start, I believe. Yeah, very, very troubling, especially for a hero like Enigma. It is not. Like a hero like Doom, you know, where, okay, I have a, a rough start, I have a, a big belly to fill in creeps, you know, so that I can recover. Enigma is just basically not that hero, you know, you need to snowball. Well, the rotation from Marcy might be able to up the mix here, up now. Now we're starting to see a little bit more of a, uh, a breakthrough here from Emo, who just stands his ground. And yeah, I mean, down to you Marcy. say the Top Marcy lane. needs to rotate. They're also taking down the Tusk, buying a little bit of space and time. They'll get to the Ancient's camp where Heal gets him with the cleave. Nice job there. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, if you're playing into Invoker, you're always going to be low mana. So your rotating mate can't rotate. That is mm. going to be an inherent problem. And he jumps in and... What's up? Uh -oh. What's yeah. up? My bodyguards are here. All the assassins are here. It was a very, very good, uh, easy rotation, honestly, for Yachtful the Brothers. They appear both water runes, which Invoker has no, you know, he, he doesn't need them. But Boca, he's got his abilities here. There's no one really in the area, so I think. Blood Grenade, a Wait, big stick he, out from Boboka. Why is he... Whoa, he's chasing him? It, it's, uh, he can't yeah, be serious, right? <laughs> he's, he's going for it, and he's going to take the watcher. Emo's rotating over now. Yeah, he's, he's really going for it. Boboka lands another stun, Hex in five. Then Justice found himself on the wrong side of the river, tries for the courier. Aishar block, will not cut it here. He charges to try and live a bit longer, but Boca claims his third kill there off of the auto attacks. Now, that did distract Emo from looking for the power rune, but Yumo has also not found it either. It's a double damage just chilling in the river. Really wants to get his level six first, I suppose, but it feels like a missed opportunity here. Seems like the Nick will now scout it. He's like, hey, bro. He's, oh, he's just going to take it. Okay. All right. And they're going to go for a kill, I presume. Unleashed is ready to go. Ghostwalk not quite invoked. Both map at the ready as they're going to look to turn with rotations from Undyne. But both is still in the vicinity as well. Yumo, he's just going to drop as well. That is a double kill. Yeah, that Winter, was. I imagine they get that kill if they give the amplified damage ring to the Marsky. Fly, fly in the meantime down bottom. Get the I, the Irving dives I, the I think that's probably also no no time, you know, because the creep wave was going into the tower, so they just wanted to take advantage of that situation. But then again, I also felt like Emo was maybe baiting it as well, because he, sure. he knew he was under a tower, so you know, the Marsky just hit six. He probably felt like he was gonna try and do something, so the the supports TP right away. The uh, double wraith band build there going to work. Yeah, double rape band with the life steal. It's a very, very tough hero to bring down in the, in the lane itself. And they're still gonna be lingering here in the middle lane, undying, looking for D ward here who does find it. We should just say all the other lanes are going pretty well as well. I mean, this 18 Enigma really has not been working out. He is gonna be bottom in terms of uh, net worth, even actually beneath Baboka who is clocking in just over 200 gold more than the Enigma. They're going to go hunting for the Gyro, the only hero here on Evil Rabbit that has not had a terrible start. Yeah, but Monkey is here to hunt him. I think this is uh, this is the right play. This is the best play you can you can make when you're a Monkey, when you're winning your lane. You go and oh, win no. the other lanes, you know, Richard. Yeah. 
and there's no way out for him. He's going to trigger the call down to just try and continue farming the camp. He gets a couple of the creep. Not bonus. Really much this bonus goal. Well, at this rate, this is going to be very difficult for Evil Rabbit to walk out of their base to farm. They're losing map control very, very rapidly. They are only players that need the Marcy to actually come and participate and kick out all these uh, invaders, you know, on their side of the map. Uh, Invis rune up underneath the sentry though for the next task, and I thought that was a vendetta. It is not. He's only level four. He'll he puts up the kill. He's actually already got uh, max and power winter. Is this kind of the offlane build you're seeing? A little bit more of this like greedy farm style. You were kind of talking about the game slowing down this week. I think as an offlaner, you should. Have I not tell you this before that you should play like a carry? Uh, depending on some what heroes you get, I think some heroes you can actually do it, and you kind of want to farm the ancients. I think Tadichi would be a very good example of like if you look at his playstyle, he likes to play heroes that can clear ancients, right? I don't have a black hole. They might need to use it here. No, I don't think they will. Ash, fly, fly. Okay, this, is, this is a very big kill. Yeah, the Marcy. Yeah, the Marcy needed to help his enemy out. Like you want to farm ancients basically as a carry because you are utilizing the whole map by doing that. So the hero you are playing should be able to do that like a Magnus with level four and power, you know, at level seven. Radiant's bottom tower is okay. under attack. The efficiency game, Richie. You need yeah, to man. farm the creeps, whatever available creeps on the map. You need to clear it. Uh, a little bit surprising though. Know. Well, he's not really had a great opportunity to rotate yet, has he? And actually, Fly Fly is going to rotate to the mid lane. Yeah, he, he doesn't have to, you know, because the Monkey King is moving. Like, yeah. Monkey King as a carry is no stranger to running around and killing stuff, you know, so your mid laner can be greedy. T1 oh, Towers will go undefended by both sides. That's the hook out early to 9. Low level Sun Strike here does miss out. But they've got four heroes involved in this kill, so they still take down the Gyro. Gyo take his death of the game but they have opened up Irving's lane down bottom he still actually has black hole as well yet nice tornado lane. catches a pass another kill Level five dust four one charges no chance to escape there the wagon is not going to be taken down either and emo is going to be able to reinforce this wave so uh looks like this mid tower is going to go down Yeah, not much they can do about it. Uh, they have to try to wait for Marcy to find a hero kill somewhere. AB, no. No, they can't wait for items. They just need to make moves, you know. Irving. Ooh, no strike needed. The Boca picked up his first finger of death. So, and he's got face to death. He's got it. Look at this. Look at this farm. Oh. Can a, can a regular wait, lion has, do that? He has a dagger. Uh, is he? No, wait, the lion wait, has a dagger. Has a dagger? Wow. How yeah. how how many kills? Five. He's five oh and three. Holy, he has a dagger. I'm like, what? I saw the dagger. I'm like, oh, Magnus bought a dagger. No, wait, Magnus already has a dagger. Yeah, Magnus has had a dagger. For he's actually already got the blade of alacrity for the eggs. Yeah, this is rough. Lion, Magnus, double daggers. Eleven minutes. I mean, this I is agree. the problem with Dota sometimes when you you try something different, you know, like Marcy me, it's not the most optimal. Your lanes don't go well, then you don't really have much option to do, uh, to rotate to you. So right now, this smoke has to ideally land on a call. They need to kill something important. He was holding on to the RP, blink, black hole onto oh, the up. Oh, oh no, he stuns all three of them, Zeal. With the RP, scores under the tower, right into the range of fly play. Another three man stun, another three man stun from the boundless strike. Right, into that's the hook it. Shot, and they clean house win their fly play on a double kill. Baboka, he is feeling good. Yeah, that was like running the, the Dyson vacuum cleaner over the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Everything gets sucked in, clean as a whistle. Yeah, that could not have been better by Yakult's brother. I mean,. Zeal is happily farming away. He walked home and he'll be back out. Yeah. For RP. He just has too much net worth, you know. I think in a normal circumstance, that would have been most likely a kill. I mean, especially if the lion doesn't have dagger. <laughs> 11 yeah. <minutes>. yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, that was that was rough. Loki even he had so much time there. He waited for the snowball to come before he <laughs> yeah. gets a black hole. <laughs> you can, imagine, you know, your teammate is getting ganked by four heroes, and he had time to wait. You know? Yeah. And Zeal's like, wait, 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 hold on, let him black hole me a little Relax. bit. Relax. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I still have time, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a. I mean, what a turn. And I mean, yeah, that, that's just ridiculous to be honest. That. Yeah. All right. Here's Dokris. He's just walking the monkey to farm a snack. He's looking for a snack, Richie. Yeah. He's not gonna find one. He's gonna try and get his wisdom, I suppose. So, do you consider the wisdom oh, a snack? Dude, he he almost. What if he stole the the extra table? That would still not be enough. To turn no, it would not. <laughs> they, lo they lose their Mars, by the way. Oh, okay, he cancels his TP. Why did he cancel it? He's not I mean, he's gonna die now, right? Yeah. I died a little too early. Alright, I thought he was gonna at least be Dude, wisdom. Just let him go and steal the uh, wisdom. Uh, uh, Ukiyo's been caught. Voka is punching him with the fist of death and actually gets the kill. He's 6 0 and 6 now on the line. My man should have just let the Monkey King leave and steal the Wisdom Rune. I agree. And live to tell the tale. <laughs> I agree. No one's picked up their Wisdom Rune either. There's two Wisdom Runes for evil rats, by the way. Just ding chilling there. Why? Ding chilling. Oh. Bounty. I would imagine in a game that you're getting beaten up so badly in the early game, you would have at least went back. Okay, guys, <laughs> we need to pick up our own wisdom. <laughs> oh no, wait, is he still gonna get the wisdom? He might actually. No, he's not gonna check it. Okay, instead, it's gonna be the plus nine. Oh, it would be the wand. No, he's still dead though. You know, this game is, is pretty rough. 21 to 2, 15k. Uh, sorry, 15 minutes in, it's a 13k net worth lead. As I think they know that there's a Nyx assassin nearby. Can he Loka even is kill not him scared. Alone? No, I, I don't think I don't think this lion dies to a Nyx. He's, he's gonna no try. One. I think he's gonna there's try. He's no waiting way. for Masi. Masi is here. Oh, too early. He's coming. Uh, yep. Oh, not no. two. Tornado. All right, Zeal blinks RP. He still has fewer. Fewer's into the cogs, and it's a double kill. Yep. Do you, you, right. you see the little footsteps on the ghost walk, right? I'm pretty sure they knew the Nyx was there. No, the Nyx, only the Nyx can see it. The Nyx mm. saw the ghost walk. The invoker didn't see him. And well. Nyx, and Nyx, you can see in these heroes. Oh, that's right. With yeah, the, you whatever, have your Nyx what's it? Sense. Yeah, Nyx sense. Six sense. Nyx sense. Six sense. <laughs> it's called Nyx sense. <laughs> I know. Just messing with you, you know? They smoke here. They smoke under a ward, unfortunately. They are smoking to retreat. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, hold on, Nyx is going in. Radiant what will scan. he find? Nothing. Scan is gonna hit. Oh no, that was a Radiant scan, sorry. I mean, who's like, who's the juiciest killer? Honestly, Baboka's a juicy killer. He's got a six time streak on him. Baboka? Like, okay. Nine, one, and three. Yeah. Boker only has three kills to his name. I would take down Baboka. If they could, anyway. I don't know if that's uh, very likely at this point. Nine with a lot of Uh Okay, Tusk is going in. Irving has a BKB. Sorry, has a Blink Black Hole ready. As Zeal. Oh, there's a BKB here on Gyrocopter. He's going to try and turn this into a fight. Oh no, the heck in time. No potential Black Hole from coming out. All of a sudden, this has gone very poorly indeed. Flyfly Fly takes down the Gyrocopter. Yumo oh, almost gets the kill on a Baboka, but he's actually just too tanky. Here. GG, they call it. It's a 17 minute victory. Okay. GG. Fair, fair enough. They got destroyed in the lanes and just have uh, not really much answers, you know. You need the Marcy to rotate, but against an Invoker, it, it's very tough, you know, you have no mana, you don't have uh, resources a lot of the times. And as a mid laner, if your side lanes just collapse, even if you have full mana, you're not going to be able to be able to do much in that type right. of scenario, you know, it's just too difficult. 